Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is your basic Sorgonomics. And, uh, you know, this week I did uh, my first webinar. Uh, actually, people on the line on a webinar. Woo! You know, we're trying to do this educational component here. Sidekickmediaservices.com, part of SorgatronMedia.com. Um, and we tried to launch and learn certain series. It hasn't really worked out. We're kind of fine tuning that, figuring out what the price point is, what works for everybody, whether lunch works for everybody. And I think we're going to move that a bit this next month. You'll, you'll see an announcement on there soon. If it's not already, already out by the time you hear this, um, of what we're going to do in December. But, uh, we, we, we did our webinar and it's, my first conducted webinar, which was weird. I'm using a studio setup, so I'm comfortable. I basically sat here like this in front of this microphone, and we're good. And I used my recording software on Wirecast, but then I brought it up and joined me and brought, had my little blue snowball so people can hear me real good on the webinar and use join.me to start with. And I definitely see where I want to upgrade that for some features, uh, potentially, and, uh, and, and and we had a good go at it, and not a lot of response. I just did my presentation, and it was on the introduction to, to, to podcasting, and now I'm using this blue microphone as a, as a pointy piece here during the video version of this podcast. Um, but uh, it was a lot of fun. And I, I, I discovered some things about myself. One, I enjoy putting together slideshows. What is wrong with me? I It's not my first keynote slideshow that I put together. And anything that I've had the chance to put together in, in, in keynote, I really enjoy. I don't know if it's the way the tool is compared to maybe PowerPoint in the past or I haven't really dug into the, the Google Slides uh, per se. Um, but I actually did, I also did some stuff um, for the library for nonprofits. I did some stuff on YouTube. I did some stuff on, uh, we had this interesting combination where they're like, let's talk about Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat in one two-hour block. Okay, I guess so. Um, and I put together a presentation because I was like, well, I, I think we need to visualize a lot of this stuff. I go into PodCamp typically with the concept and the ideas in my head. Sometimes I may make notes to so make sure to hit this point, this point, this point, and I show stuff off on the websites. Very loose very whatever it is, and I know it's going to maybe adapt depending on who's in the crowd and what questions they're asking too. But when I get to this point where we're doing webinars, or we're doing stuff that people, are, especially stuff that people are paying for, um, I think to me, I feel like I owe it to put in the pre-work a little bit. And this is just what I'm finding as I'm learning to talk, learning to speak um, in, in these kinds of settings. Um, it's going to depend on the subject as well. Obviously, a webinar. You want slides. That's how a webinar works, right? And I'm learning all those ins and outs. And hopefully very soon, I'll be able to figure out how to make a webinar my own. Because I've attended a few of them, at least these freebie ones, uh, a little bit here and there. I might have paid for one. I can't remember at this point. And I'm very interested to see what Chris Brogan does with his. I'm hoping to have an opportunity to, to look at one of those sooner or later as well. About to drop the money on that. Um, again, I just want to see how he goes because I love his presentations. I want to see how that webinar comes off. But uh, so we're going through those growing pains as far as those go. And, and doing these and doing our own setup uh, webinar, or not, seminars of, of a sort, too. And just trying to get that educational component going and, and trying to do a little bit more than what we do with podcast, basically. Um, I like, and I like the webinar. The webinar is, to me, uh, feels like this. It feels a lot like this, to be quite honest. Um, just I have a slideshow in front of me and you don't see my face and my reactions. And I was remembering that and relaxing a bit more and just kind of leaning on the mic a bit more, making sure I'm at a good distance and good mic, mic technique, but generally not worried about my face. Like when I started this show and it wasn't video, right? And that is fun to me a little bit. Again, not a lot of interaction. Only had a couple people in there and I think they were more absorbing than wanting to feedback to, to me. Um, and I think that's, but but that also worries me because I feel like the added bonus of having a live webinar and being part of that versus being part of um, just listening to a webinar afterwards is you get that 
opportunity for feedback and pick the brain of the expert. Oh, I just called myself an expert. I got chills. Or it's just because it's cold down here because it's almost winter. But um, but no, I, I, I and I hope to figure out ways to entice that a bit more in the future. Hopefully, it will all just kind of happen with scale as we go and hopefully grow that audience. And I'm hoping I got a really good experience uh, for the person that, that the person or two that were in there. Um, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to do it again. Okay. So it's really going to be like, what did I learn about doing webinars? But I really learned a lot about myself, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, and I think I think there's a, a I'm finding where the niche is for me. I don't know. It's not very niche to say, hey, here's an introduction to podcasts. Um, but I think it's going to be. So what what do we decide what to present? One the hot topics of the day, for instance, we're going to talk about Insta content with Periscope and Snapchat. We had such a great response to our um, our impromptu session. Uh, Katie and I did at PodCamp. So I think we're going to tag team that and, uh, and, and, and again, put a nice presentation of what we've learned since PodCamp uh, with that. Uh, both of us using it in, in various ways, um, you know, Snapchat and, and everything and Periscope. And where is that settled in the market at this point? Um, so in kind of deciding what makes those different also from what's a freebie session that we do for PodCamp, you know? Uh, where, where do these work? Where, what, what is, what is the business model here? Are we doing a free webinar to sell X? Do we have X to sell yet? And we're trying to figure out what can we do? Cause we know we have a certain set of expertise around here, um, between a couple of us that are collaborating and we're, you know me, I'm doing this show, you know, this, this is the freebie. Um, and I'd be doing this anyways. And I have these, I'll be having these conversations. I have these same conversations at the open coffee clubs and the, and the, and the mixers and whatnot that I tend to go to. Uh, and this is an extension of that and a place for me to kind of work out those ideas, uh, in my head and with you. And, um, but again, you know, you still got to turn everything into a business, right? So, and, and where does that work? And I, and I wonder, so this is where I, I want to turn this around also. And if, and if you haven't given feedback on one of these shows, this would be a good one. And I want to see where you're at with a lot of this. Um, do you do webinars? Do you do educational seminars? Um, I know, you know, what what's got a qualification? What makes it worth you to pay X amount? to go to one of these. I, I consider this a little bit of my market research, I guess. Um, you know, what what is that threshold? You know, do you see it worth it to say, wow, that's a pretty good event, but it's like X amount of dollars. Oh, I don't know about that right now. You know, I have the same deal with conferences. Like, should I go to the New Media Expo? How much is that to go out to Las Vegas and do this? Would I really get that much worth out of it at, at this level of podcasting that I'm doing versus going to a PodCamp Pittsburgh or going to a PodCamp Columbus or, or whatever the case may be that's more or less free or cheap and not across the country and having to get a plane ticket. I don't know. It's such a mix. It's such a mix. I'm, I'm thinking about that again more as I was listening to our friends at uh, the podcast uh, group therapy po uh, podcast. Yeah, that's redundant. Um, podcasters group therapy, and they're talking about NMX, and they're not sure if it's happening. And I'm just like, man, I should really think about going to that, right? I mean, that question mark at the end of that is the thing that says, yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, I don't know. But what do you? Wh what makes you go to a conference if your employer isn't paying for it? What makes you go to do a webinar? that you pay for or don't pay for or, or take the time to. I, mean, I have so many free webinars in my inbox these days where I'm like, ah, I should go to that. I should go check it out. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot to make time to do work. <laughs> and I just don't go to work. I'm really bad about those. Um, of course, it'd be different if I paid for it, of course. Uh, and, and I have. So um, let me know what you think. And what do you want me to webinar about? What do you what do you what do I talk about here that 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 is worth you think you know getting deeper in? Let me know. At Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. See you guys next time.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.